What's going on guys? So I am out here in Elkhart, Indiana at the RV Dealer Expo 2023. This is where the dealers come to pick out their inventory for 2023 and 2024. Um, super cool. I'm trying to find unique RVs that stand out and this certainly stands out. So many cool things that they've done here. They call this the Woody. Um, you can probably see why. I really, really love some of the things that they've done on the outside with the A-frame, the vintage wheels, even the trim around the wheel. That's just super cool. You know, I could totally see just towing this thing out to the beach. Oh yeah. This thing is so, so cool and retro. Anyways, we're gonna take a close look at this. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of, let's see where they put it on here. Gross vehicle weight rating, 3,980 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,352 pounds. So the dry weight on this unit is going to be about 27, 2600 pounds. Okay, so this thing is going to be towable by a lot of different vehicles. Uh, most mid-size SUVs with the tow package, you'll be able to tow this behind a lot of your, you know, half-ton trucks, pretty much any of your half-ton trucks. You do want to make sure that you do have the appropriate package for something like this, though, if you are going to tow it. That said, we're going to look at the inside of this thing because it's going to blow you away. This thing is, again, super cool and vintage, and if you love that vintage feel, you're definitely going to get it in here. Okay, let's hop inside, see what the inside's about, then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside. Okay, first of all, I love the fact that they're using Asdell. So, composite sidewall construction, don't have to worry about DLAM, especially around the fake wood paneling that they have here. But yeah, so Asdell, super cool product. Going up the Lippard Solid Steps, check this out. I feel like there's a certain type of music I should be playing now that's predominantly a bass line. Got the Furion 12-volt refrigerator in here. Check this out, this is super cool. and. You know, if I if I walked into like a used RV and it had this interior, I'd probably be like, no. But but because this is a retro specifically designed to be new and to use this material, it's like, wow, this is super cool. I mean, what are you thinking, man? I think it's pretty cool. I think this thing screams Love Shack. <laughs> but I mean, everything from like the finish on the fridge, like it it it's really clean. It really is. And they did a great job of giving you what they were trying to give you. And that's that retro look. Even look at the curtains. I mean, again, very, very retro. This is super cool. I love the space they have here. Nice cabinetry. And you know what? This all feels like solid wood. It is. Very nice. Even the, the little sconce lighting. That is crazy. Check this out. They did a really good job with this. This is pretty awesome for what it is. Stainless steel single basin sink. You have a good size stove oven combo in here. Three burner Furion. Bigger than I thought it would be for such a small unit. You have a compact high point microwave here. You have your cabinets up top. Drawers down below. Oh, that's interesting. Now, I don't know why they did that. There must be, oh, the sink. So the sink drops down and this is, so you don't hit the sink, I'm guessing, because that's a full pull out drawer. Up here you have, uh, I don't think it's a full-size queen, but it's probably more of a full. I'm going to have to ask him how big this bed is. Definitely big enough for two adults, but it's not It's not a very big bed in terms of like a king size or a queen. Got your cabinets up here. Again, this is a compact travel trailer, and this back area will turn into a bed as well. So if you have a child that you want to sleep in here, then, you know, they're going to have enough room there. All right, let's look inside of the bathroom. So check this out. Man, talk about carrying over a theme. This is super cool. So it has a plastic toilet, some storage under there. Nice plastic sink right here. Very nice. And then your shower radius is out. Nice shower surround. It's a one piece surround up here. Then you have your tub down below. This is super cool. I got to admit, I really like this. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you know, no slide outs, really compact, towable by a lot of different vehicles. If I had to score this one to 10, just because I know what they're trying to do, I know what they're trying to accomplish with this floor plan. I know that you're tight on room, but they were still able to give you a full bathroom with everything you need inside of there and a full shower. Um, and it's super small from the outside. This thing's super, super compact, but 
am I wrong to say that it feels much bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside? Oh yeah, yeah, it, it feels much bigger. And like you said, like this might not be particularly for me, but for who it is, they nailed it. Like this is, you can tell all the intention that they put into detail um, everywhere. Yep. Every single piece of it is made. Yep, and you're not restoring anything. No. It's brand new. You even have on-demand hot water heater. Very, very cool. This is this is cool. I'm gonna honestly, because I know who they're targeting and what they're trying to do, and I have to put myself in that mindset, I'm gonna give this like a nine. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was right on par for that. Again, like who they're going after and who's gonna want this, they're gonna love it. If the right person stumbles upon it, they're really gonna enjoy this. Yes, this thing is super cool. Let's quickly look at the outside because they've done a few unique things out there as well. Okay, so starting from the front, working our way back, you have a front power tongue jack, which is nice. You have a spot for two 30 pound propane cans, plus you have a sewer hose connector right here. You have a spot for your batteries. Well, it's not a big spot for your batteries, but I think they'll fit. I'll have to figure that one out. Nice pass through storage here, and it passes all the way through, and it is also lit up. And the baggage doors are actually slam latch. That's really nice. They don't feel cheap. Scissor jack stabilization. You have a really cute compact awning here. I don't think they could have gone much larger than that because this is where the, the roof radius is down, but it has LED lighting. You have your sound system out here. You have the top of your vent hood, power, cable connections, everything here, and a spot to mount a TV outside. Um, this uses a fiberglass skin. It's from end to end, very similar to other trailers this size where the fiberglass starts here, wraps all the way around the top, all the way around the back. So there's no seams where they have to connect more than one panel, which is nice. This is cool. I mean, I, I gotta admit, this is a really, really nice setup. Goodyear Endurance tires, I love that. I love this as well. That had to have been custom made for them because you don't just go to the store and, and buy that. No, and then the retro hubcap here. Yeah, the hubcap itself. That's, that, that's awesome though. Lippert Solid Step coming around. Again, Asdell, love that. Four inch tubular bumper and I love that the frame is painted to match the coach. That is so cool. I mean, you gotta admit, that is really awesome coming around. This truly is like a vintage cruiser. Coming around this side, you have your 30 amp connection, the outside of your on-demand water heating system. Not a heck of a lot going on over here, but you can have all your water connections and stuff over there. It is wired for Furion wireless backup camera and all LED lighting. And I love the look of the lighting on here because this lighting, of course, was not available when an RV like this was made, but it's showing you how they're finding retro parts to make it look vintage, even though you're still getting that modern. This has definitely hit the nail on the head for what they're trying to do. And I think they just did a fantastic job. But what do you guys think? Please let me know. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.